party is well underway here, and they're probably going to be start showing the rebroadcast starting at around 7 o'clock, and the actual speech closer to 8, so there's still time to get down here. Bill. Okay, Leah, thank you. Leah Henry reporting tonight. So what does an Obama presidency mean to you? The impact here in B.C. is hard to gauge. There's hope Obama can kickstart the American economy so B.C. exports can get rolling again. And there's another issue where the new president and B.C. share a lot of common ground. Our Victoria Bureau Chief Jim Beatty explains. At a small Victoria company, they're building the future, a green future. We do uh, small-scale renewable energy systems. With its solar panels and wind turbines, Energy Alternatives develops equipment to harness the sun, wind, and water to power the future. For 25 years, this environmental technology has been on the fringes, but obscurity no more. President Barack Obama mentioned the environment no less than three times in his inaugural address. We will harness the sun and the winds and the soil to fuel our cars and run our factories. No one is happier to hear that than the folks back in Victoria. There's a, a little bit of a cheer going on here. Uh, we've, we've heard the president talking about what we do, our obscure technologies. Premier Gordon Campbell is thrilled too. He has staked his political future on a green agenda, demanding B.C. cut its greenhouse gas emissions by a third over the next 11 years. I love the initiatives that he's taking around climate change. I mean, we fit right into that. The things he's talking about, we've already done. Campbell says having Obama's environmental endorsement will help shape North America's future economy. With a leader of the largest economy in the world saying, this is where our economy is going, it's what I've always said. We're going to be able to piggyback on that and have huge benefits in British Columbia and I think for Canada. What is it going to mean for BC? It's going to mean it's, it's good things because BC is actually ahead of the game. This world-renowned climate scientist says BC's environment and its economy will benefit if we're on the same page as the United States. Obama's going to take the world into a greener direction. So, you know, you can either be with the green agenda or you can be off the green agenda. The rest of the world's moving forward. BC has accepted it and uh, the rest of Canada, I'm sure, will come along too. Jim Beatty, CTV News, Victoria. And we'll have more highlights from today's historic events.